Today's video sponsor is GGG Mobile, where using my SKG discount code leads to a 25% off across several products, making a Windows 10 serial key only $16. After the payment, you'll receive the key in your account and all you need to do is to introduce it in your Windows settings and BAM! You have an activated system. For several years in this channel and mostly on the AMD drivers videos, I've been advising people to use DDU all the time, so Display Driver Uninstaller all the time in order to fix most of their issues. But since using DDU was so natural to me, I never thought that people would actually require a video to use DDU, and I've been seeing some comments recently uh, where, people is, uh, where people are actually asking me to make a video on how to use DDU properly to uninstall upgrade uh, or even change GPUs in your computer, okay? So let's do it. Just do it! In this video, I'll show you how to properly install or update your GPU drivers using Display Driver Uninstaller, mostly and widely known as DDU. First of all, updating your drivers via the Radeon, Nvidia or Intel Arc software is indeed an option, but it shouldn't be. Because most times some casual bugs, stutters or crashes are due to this exact same process of reinstalling and overriding the drivers over and over and over again. So if you want your system the most stable it can be, what you actually need is a clean driver installation. The most important point of a clean driver installation is to actually remove uh, the previous registry and Windows files from the previous installations that can make your system perform worse than it should. You can use the clean installation option on the drivers, at least AMD supports that. You can use AMD or NVD utilities like the AMD Cleanup Utility or the NV Clean Install or you can use a software called DDU that can be used for all GPUs from AMD, Intel and Nvidia and is also customizable. Seems like a no-brainer to me. How do you get it and how does it work? First of all, just go to Google, search for DDU and it will usually appear to you in the first searches Guru3D and Vagnardsoft.com, being the last one the creator of DDU. Open Vagnardsoft.com Go to Our Software and click on Display Driver Uninstaller. A page will then appear containing the recommended usage, system requirements and even the changelog and known issues presented in the current version. Then go down below and use the Click for Download and Support link and choose if you want the portable or the installer version of DDU. In case you have the portable version, you'll have to extract it. Then open the extracted folder and run DDU. A message will appear telling you that it's the first time you're launching DDU alongside several tips you should follow in case you have doubts, but if you're following this video, you're fine. Then click OK and the customizable options will appear. I personally advise people to disable the Remove AMD and NVIDIA folder options as you might want the driver installation files later to use them if needed, for example to reinstall drivers and always check the prevented downloads of drivers from Windows Update when Windows search for a driver for a device checkbox. And this is one of the most important options as it will prevent Windows from downloading its own drivers, letting you install the drivers you want with absolutely no worries. And as for the other settings, well, my advice is to actually leave them as they are. The next step is to select the type of device you want to uninstall, since DDU can also uninstall all your devices, and then select one of the three options available. The most commonly used for driver updates and driver changes is the clean and restart option. But when you want to change GPUs, for example, you should be using the clean and shutdown option as DDU will clean the drivers plus all the files related and then shut down the system, allowing you to easily change GPUs. And after this, all you have to do is go to the AMD, Intel or Nvidia website, download the drivers for your GPU, install them and you're good to go. And in case you have an AMD CPU and AMD motherboard, please, and I repeat, please do, do not, not forget, forget to install, install the chipset, chipset drivers. drivers. Don't, just don't. They are very, very important. See? 
Chipset drivers are your motherboard drivers and they are very, very important to have updated as having, for example, older chipset driver versions with your newer GPU driver version, so having older chipset versions with your new AMD Adrenaline drivers may actually cause issues like stutters, black screens and so on, so having your chipset drivers updated is a must. All you have to do is go to AMD's website, choose the socket and chipset of your motherboard, download the current chipset drivers and install them. This applies even if you have an NVIDIA GPU as well, and by the way, you can get the chipset drivers on your motherboard's website, but the ones on the AMD website are better as they are usually much more recent. So overall, if you want to have everything working the most stable it can, just simply use DDU to remove your drivers properly, then install the recent drivers, and then update your chipset drivers in order to have everything work as smoothly as it should. That's all. So guys, that's all for today's video. Thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share this video if you found it useful. Also, if you have any doubts about DDU or about the chipset drivers, just leave your comment in the comment section and I will answer as fast as I can, as I always do, okay? So once again, thanks a lot for watching. For you that was actually waiting for you that were actually waiting for this video of how to use DDU properly or how to install your drivers properly well it is now done thanks a lot for watching and see you in the next one and well since youtube algorithm actually loves videos over eight minutes i will just give you a, a tip of a very 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 good cpu cooling system and no this is not a this is not sponsored and I bo actually bought this with my own money and it is the Thermal Right Peerless Assassin, okay? You can get the full white version as you can see here. You can get the full white version for only like $55 or something like that. And if you don't care about that, you can actually buy the simple edition um, which costs like 45 bucks and up to C with CPUs, let's say up to 150, 200 watts, it will be as good as the Noctua, uh, the D, the D15S, something like that, like the D, yes, the one that I have, the D15, doesn't really matter. And if you are looking for a very, for a very cheap and very, very good air cooler, this is the one you want, the Thermal Right Peerless Assassin 120 white version or the SE version which is the simple edition and yes like I told you this is not sponsored it is just me giving you a tip and filling in um, a one minute time for the video to make eight minutes okay once again thanks a lot for watching and see you in the next video